Okay, now that we've got, uh, now that I've got how to do these videos down, I'm going to try to finish up this preform, show you uh, the process of making an arrowhead. The preform is about the same size, well, this arrowhead fits the preform, so we'll try to make an arrowhead of this size and this type out of this preform. Now this one, we'll try to get it down as thin the same thickness without breaking it hopefully it's already pretty thin but uh, we'll see if we can get a little bit thinner I'm not sure how clear that is I got it on uh, the macro mode anyway let's see if we can turn this into a uh, arrowhead <clears throat> There's two different sizes. I got two different sizes of wire. I'm going to start off with the larger size. Uh, take the narrow end and shape it down. Let's see if I get this in the, centered in the video. I'm just using a hard hammer stone. The hardest part at this point is not breaking the, the uh, stone in half or something like that. It's very, very easy to break these stones when they're this thin. When you're hammering on the end like this. But a hard hammer stone is not going to grab on. It's just going to kind of bounce off so it doesn't it just doesn't um, put as much pressure on these uh, flakes to snap. Uh, if you use a soft hammer stone, it'll grab the stone. It'll grab the edge and pull it really hard, and you, may, you might just break it. Anyway, this also sends a few flakes across. As you can see, I'm trying to maintain a, a sharp edge. Or not sharp, but a non-crushed edge. You don't want to crush at this point, so it'll be very hard to fix. I think the last video was like 13 minutes to get the preform. Usually, a preform doesn't take that long, but it was a pretty chunky piece. All right, I do a little bit of grinding. Two reasons: one, it'll dull the edge so it doesn't crush, but also it gives you a reference. It highlights where the high spots and low spots, sp where the high spots and low spots are, and uh, it helps you to know where to hit. You always want to hit below center line. Like I can hit there. I can hit right there without worrying. Turn it over, hit some of this. When you uh, braid the edge, it kind of brings that out, highlights where the uh, where the deltas are, I guess you call them. Anyway, it's hard to know where I can. Get to just the right distance. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I'm not going to explain too much. And it's hard for me to do two things at once.
Now that arrowhead had a concave base. I like these concave bases because it allows you to thin as you're making this concave. You can punch in flakes and thin it out a little bit. <clears throat> Again, you have to be careful not to snap the, the point in half. You have to hit below center line. I don't know if I can see this. See that flake terminated right there. It's, it's okay. Put some band-aids on my fingers to cover those little cuts that looked pretty nasty in the last video. I don't like to use gloves because I can't get a feel for what I'm doing. Uh, since you can't really see the underside when you're when you're uh, knocking off flakes, but you can feel where the high spots are and where the flakes need to come off. And uh, even if you have your finger right there where the flake is going to come off, it'll still come off. It'll travel right under your finger. So I don't like using gloves. I usually just use a couple band-aids like this or nothing at all. This video quality might not be too good. I'm, I don't know if, I've, if I'm too close. We'll see. I think I saw a honeybee. Yeah, I think I saw a honeybee. Oh, already? It was big. And we went by. I think it was a honeybee. Wow. I really saw a honeybee. That's cool, buddy. It was so good. Yeah. Yes. Now what is this? That's a decoration for the aquarium. Yeah, but what is this? I don't know why you bought it for a lantern. Yeah, I don't know why I bought one. I don't know if it's a good friend of mine. Then this is in... Oh yeah, this is in too wide. I'm just crunching the edge here so it takes away that sharpness. Set it up for some more flakes. Now see that bends over. But that's fine. Uh, I've had those break off, but uh, copper wire is pretty cheap. <clears throat> 